Well, good afternoon. Whew, another great day. It is Thursday in Spokane, Washington. It's another hot day. And I can tell you that the sprinklers just came on in front of me. I'm, so I'm looking out the window and all my little birdies are using it as a bird bath. So it is beautiful. I am very lucky to live out on 10 acres that is wooded and has gobs of wildlife. And so in the evenings, I watch the herd of elk come in closer to uh, graze. And But the excitement of the neighborhood is that we have evidently a pair of cougars that are mating and they're getting a little too close to houses. So we're hearing them a lot at night and um, people are catching pictures of them on their ring doorbells. So um, we're being a little bit careful these days. Um, lots happening. Uh, first of all, you can tell by my hair that something different has happened. Perhaps I was swimming. No, I'd like to tell you I was swimming. But indeed, um, today was a day for me to have a little um, procedure at the hospital. I had to have a cardioversion, which is a restarting of your heart. And you can't wear makeup and you can't have gel in your hair. And I'm going to tell you, if it doesn't happen first thing in the morning, it's not going to happen all day. So you guys, I'm really sorry, but this is the true Fancy Nancy right here. I did put on a little eyeliner and did put on a little lipstick, so we'll just see from there. I want to show you, um, remember on Tuesday, I was playing with the technique using the gilded, um, the gilding, the gold gilding, and using just my regular uh, glue. And so I want to show you how some of those turned out. I told you I would share them. So let me just bring that part of my camera in. There we go. So if you remember, I started with this one, which was using a monochromatic layout. And one of the things I told you that I wasn't real satisfied with this one because I thought it had too much gold. It um, So I, I knew that I was going to have to bring my stamps closer together so that I could have a thinner vein through those. So I kept working on it. This was number two. Now this time I thought, well maybe it would be more fun if I was to add another color. So this is, the first one was um, spruce and just jade. This one is just jade and knight of navy. And this was getting better. It was closer to what I wanted, but I still had little globs and I was trying to avoid globs. So the third one, um, I got more of a vein approach. Can you see that? I'll try to bring it up just a little bit more so you can see it. In any case, yes, I did get it and I like it better. But when I put my um, embellishments on my card, it kind of sneaks away. So I have to admit this might be the right amount. So uh, I hope you're playing with this and trying it out to see what you think. Um, it's definitely fun and it was worth playing around with. Well, as it has been one of those days, as I said, uh, visiting the hospital, I cheated. I decided that it was a day that I was going to practice some things that I've been watching um, on YouTube and I was gonna see if I could do it and to find a place for it. So this is that tower, um, card and I loved it because Rachel Tessman called it Tessman called it the never ending card. So let me just show you. You squish it and it will go into your envelope. Okay. And so as it's open, if you turn the page, you get to a new um, piece of information. And you see how I keep going. Now let me tell you what I learned from this one. This is my first one. I loved using this nail it and by the way when I'm trying out a new um, fun fold, a new pattern, a new idea, I go right to my retired papers because I know them, I'm comfortable with them, and I feel like I, and I'm not going to always use them in a class. So I've got them left and it's a great way for me to, you know, get the best out of what I'm doing. So I love these mushrooms and I thought this was great fun. But I will tell you that unless this is the picture that's on the inside, that piece that hangs over, that's not gonna do real well in your um, typical card envelope. 
And see, I did the same thing on this one. I've got a little bit of hang, hanger over. Now, if I used a, a little bit bigger envelope, like a four by six, yep, it would work. No, no question about that. Um, but I've got to keep working on that. The other thing that I need to think about when I'm making this card is if it's a never ending card and you're turning it, what's the story you want to tell? Because I didn't tell the right story. Um, this should have been my first one, which was hello. Yes. But when I turn, it was a place to sign. That should have come towards the end. So I need to do some, some rearranging. I love this one. I thought this was really fun. But um, again, like I say, it just, it didn't tell a story. So I want to do better. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to try this out and see what you think. Um, but the best part is, this isn't too thick to fit in an envelope. I've had many cards that were thicker than this. And um, the real, there are things to learn from this. It, what type of paper you use would be the beginning. You would not want to use your um, very uh, firm, wisp, um, basic white paper. You would not, I mean, and your center little, this is your base, this little square on the inside. You would not want to use anything heavy there. In fact, two of the people I follow said, use a designer series paper. It's just a little bit lighter. It's firm enough to hold the card, but it does the trick. So let's play. Um, you know, I am creating this on the fly. I'm doing this with you. So we're just going to see what we get. I do have to tell you in the middle of, of uh, getting ready today, my little granddaughter called and I'm going to tell you my granddaughter is, I don't know, she's just a spot of joy. She just makes me laugh and she has just turned 17. She works at the golf course and she has discovered that golf might be the love of her life. And she is golfing like crazy and today she qualified, this is going to be, this is a drum roll kind of moment. She qualified for uh, the Junior Women's PGA Tournament, uh, State Tournament. And is she excited? Yes, my friend, she's excited. So anyway, that's enough of that. A little breaking, but Grandma has to do it now and then. <sighs> okay, so this is gonna be my base. I chose this, and when I look into that cone, let me show you again. When I look down, this is what I wanna see, that piece. So, <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm going to tell you that right now it's four and a quarter by four and a half. So um, it's very simple. This is a great leftover. You know, to make a card with the leftovers, is the best. So now I'm going to score it at, just join with me. Oops, we want to make sure that get that. You know, we've got two blades. One is the scoring blade, one is the cutting blade. And I almost messed up and used the cutting blade which would be a bummer, but I've got more scraps of this. My little grand, a second, another granddaughter, I have four granddaughters, um, has discovered pen pals. And she thinks th that the snail that's set is absolutely perfect for her, her um, cards that she sends with her letters to pen pals. So I cannot wait to show her this little card. because She's gonna love it. And she'll be down here creating it. Okay, so we're gonna score on the one inch. So one, Two, three, and four. And I'm going to tell you there should be about a half inch left over. That's just great. And of course, I probably don't need to tell you this, but let's just say it one time. Designer Series paper is lighter than our um, regular cardstock, and so when you use that scoring blade, don't bear down on it too hard, You just it's going to come apart. You want to make sure that you have um, just enough pressure to give yourself a score line to follow. Okay, I'm using, of course, my, um, what is this? You know, my bone folder, and um, making a nice crisp fold, and we are going to adhere this. No, we're not. We're going to change it because I told you I wanted this on the inside. It's just a trick, I'm telling you. So 
So for that person who just asked me, did my procedure go okay? Yes, it did. My procedure was awesome. My heart is in rhythm and we're moving right along. Okay, so I'm gonna apply some tape uh, using my uh, seal right down that little edge. And um, we wanna seal it nice and tight. So I'm just gonna fold this over because I'll get a better, I'll line it up a little bit better. So it should just be perfect. So let's, one more time, let's do the, the foldy foldies. And the score, score, and I think we've got it by George. There we have, we've got our, our first. Now, the next step was to have four pieces of white. One, two, three, four. And these pieces are going to be like our spindle, if you will. And they are going to be the height of the card, which is four and a quarter. And they're going to be um, half of of a five, you know, our typical card is four and a quarter by five and a half. So it's gonna be half of that. So this is gonna be two and three quarters, which is awesome. So we're gonna put this on and I'll show you the next trip trick. So this little one inch is gonna get some tape going down. Perfect. And we're gonna, we wanna, um, take this as close to the fold as we can, but at the same time, you guys, we don't want to get into the fold because then it's not going to be, um, fold easily. So I'm lining it up. Okay, that's our first. That's our first one. My recommendation is to simply turn it over. One, two, three. So I think I've got this right. Whew. In any case, we're going to put one on every side, so it just really doesn't matter. Yep, there we go. Perfect. And you can see how it's going to squish down in the envelope, so you can pull it open. Okay, so now we'll add another one here. And all of these are the same size, so. Okay. We have one more right here. Whew. There we go. So now we've got what really is our background for this card. You can see that. And there really was nothing to that. I think you'll agree. So now the next thing we want to do is I've chosen two different um, designer series papers. So I've chosen these cute little snails and then um, the snails as well, but a kind of a coordinating color. So what I want to do is I'm going to alternate them. So I'm going to start here and then we're going to talk about what's going to be the story so we can get there. Because you know our sentiments form our story and we want to make sure that we have fun with it. Or at least I want to have fun with it. Try to get a nice little um, even, even um, border all around. So you turn to your next page and it will be a different one so it'll be this one because we want to alternate I also think it helps that these uh, that we use white underneath although I, I'm a person that goes for a lot of color so this is gonna be a little bit of a trick for me, but this, our, our basic white is a little bit lighter. And so I think it, it helps keep the weight of this card down. Okay, back to this fun one right here.
And finally, our last one. This really looks like it's really a tough card. It is not a tough card and it's kind of fun. It's like I say, the, the granddaughter that I think is gonna love making this one is 10 years old and she just loves fun folds. She thinks that's the way to go. So, there we go. So, we have this wonderful Bermuda Bay paper that we're gonna put in all of these little spots. So let's think about what we're gonna do. And I, this is what I brought out. I have, I wanna make sure these are gonna pretty much fit on here. Darn close. And I'm going to get some a scrap of white paper because I wanna have a, a little bit more dimension, like I said. So I've got here, you've got mail, a cute little snail, you snailed it, and then hearts, and I thought I'd put that where, where we're gonna sign off on. So let's start out with a you've got mail, a cute little snail, you snailed it, and the signature. What do you think of that? So in order to do that, let me grab my um, white scrap paper. And I got out my memento ink. I have been searching, searching, searching for my pens this morning. I have not found those. We're having one of those kind of days, but it's okay. Life goes on. So let's start out with this little guy. Because we're gonna take a little time and color, and then we're gonna take a little time and cut, and it'll all be good. you snailed it and the um, heart we're gonna put directly to our paper so I'm not going to worry about those so let's I think I need to get a piece of paper underneath this because I'm going to use markers and you know they bleed through and that's not a good thing however however I um, am going to use just a regular Stampin' Write pen for my cute little snail. I'm really not sure that any snail is cute, but let's just go with it. Um, although my, again, my granddaughter thinks these are, this might be the cutest image Stampin' Up! has ever, ever, ever made. On the other hand, she also has snakes, so I guess we need I don't know where her thought process lies. Okay, so we got a cute little guy. And I think we're gonna go with the bright yellow, the dark daffodil yellow. Oops, I want a broader brush. And we're gonna just make a cute shell. And I'm going to do just a cute red. I want to make sure it's the dark. Yep, here's the dark. And I just want to put a cute heart right here. So there's one. And I am going to do another cute little guy here. If I could find my pen, my alcohol blend, which I'm sure is probably in a bag from a class that I need to unpack. Um, I could do a little bit more tone on tone, but and create some shading, but remember, we, this is our prototype for what we want to do, what we think we might want to do. This time, I'm going to go with a little blue, a little yellow, some striping, and I'm going to put, just like this, 
these little middle parts yellow. Hmm. We are already heavily in fire season. I don't know how it is for all of you. I need to get that up there. I'm sorry. Um, so boy, we've really been watching for that too. When I have to get close to another color, I'll come back and fix that up with a smaller tip. But at least I can make some headway quickly. One thing I can tell you after a day like today I, or at least I really do need to say it, is that, you know, we always talking about stamping up puts a smile on our face. Well, I am a great um, believer in that. And I have to tell you, after the day I've had today, to come home and just get to work on these cards was really great. Just put a smile on my face. So, that being said, just think about the smile you take to other people. When you send the cards because they like it even more okay I'm just going to add a little bit of dimension right here there we go now let's make our packages pool party but before we do that I'm going to use the string I'm going to try to add just a little red here That on there, right? And I'm going to just do a light pool party. Try to stay away from that red because whew, that could be a whole new color. Okay. So we need to cut these out, and I am going to just fussy cut them. I, we do have dies for this, but this way I can sit and talk to you at the same time. Um, while I'm cutting, I'm going to tell you about my online um, card class that's coming up. And, you know, I really blew it on Tuesday. I told you that our class was expressions um, in, in ink, and it is not. It's hand panned. And it's going to be great fun uh, because I'm going to be using the Memories and More um, card set. And we are making some great cards with that. So just keep that in mind. But what is my online card class? Well, my online card class is a monthly um, subscription. You receive um, a kit in the mail each month. Uh, the kit is going to have about 20 to 25 dollars worth of wonderful Stampin' Up! merchandise and some of it which you'll need to make the cards that also come in the kit. Um, that You will receive all the makings, everything's cut for you to make um, um, eight cards, two of four different, oof, didn't get that quite right, of four different um, designs. Got, we, I think we did it this way. No, we did it this way. I want to make sure I have them in the right order so that when I go to put them on the card, we're good to go. Anyway, back to what I was saying. So you're going to receive the makings for um, eight cards, two each of four designs, and, um, and the merchandise. If you, it is a subscription, you can get to the information about it on my blog. Um, there's a, a write-up about it, and it will take you, at the very bottom of the page, will take you to um, an ordering process. So you, if you're interested, please do that. You have um, a, 
a week from Wednesday is the cutoff for that particular class. So um, it's not the 14th, must be the 21st. So yes, 21st. And um, it ships out on the last Friday of the month. And it is going to be beautiful. So I think I said it's $43. And if you um, maybe just want to say, let's see what Fancy Nancy really puts together. I want to see what her classes look like. Don't feel bad about that. That is, I do offer a single class for $40. And you can try it out, see if you like it. And if you do, it's nothing. You can join on with us and you will be having a good time, I promise. Because in the bottom, in the end, the whole deal is to make cards, have fun, and make sure that you've always got a card to send when you need it. So I make a point of having various um, sentiments at work. And of course, you know, you can always adjust the cards that I send. Now, I said it's hand pinned this month. You may say, well, am I gonna need the hand pinned um, stamp set? It would help, but other stamp sets work. Um, but if you would like to get the stamp set, I will offer it to you at 18% discount. What that means is I pay the tax and ship and it comes to you, to your door. If you decide, if you live near me and you want a porch pickup, that is $35 because I can take that shipping cost off and um, we'll, we'll make that available to you. I hope that sounds fun. It's gonna be great. Uh, <laughs> All right, I think we're ready. Let's see what we can put together. I have some more um, cute, and yeah, let's do it right now while we're still working on this. I, I, I cut these out of the designer series paper and thought maybe just to add some dimension, we might want to put these on some of those pages just to add um, interest. If you're trying to keep your cost, your stamp costs low, you're not going to want to do this because of course it makes it too thick then for one stamp. But you just decide if, if it's, sometimes it's just worth it to me to send that card with the extra oomph. So just think about it. There we go, there's another one. I'm gonna do a couple presents too because you know, you might need those too. Anyway, the, the other thing is sometimes I have stacks, uh, built my stash and I have, when I see really good deals on padded envelopes that are pretty um, vinyl, shiny, glitz, glitzy colors because that's as fun as getting the card too. Um, especially for my girls, when I send them to my granddaughters, they think cards in those envelopes are the best. So then I really make them fancy. They have lots of good stuff on them. But you know what I say, it's all in the embellishment. Says the woman who has probably more than a hundred decorator pillows in her house. That's actually how I came to have the name Fancy Nancy is my granddaughters think that I'm a little fancy in my decorating. Oh, my dear. Oh, my dear girls. There we go. I know I hope I'm not boring you to tears. But look, we're nearly there. Everything's going to be cut and we can just go at it. I love these eyeballs. I didn't even think about getting out my googly eyeballs. That could have been fun too. But we need to stop before we get overboard. <laughs> so, and you probably notice I have out my beautiful heart uh, gems that came with this particular um, uh, stamp set. It just, it just makes me smile. I love these resin hearts. And I use them for way more than I, I do because I bought about five of them, five packages, um, on many things. Sometimes when I just put a few on my husband's lunch sack. He thinks that's cool too. So, all right, I've given myself away. All right, 
I'm ready. Let's go. So we have what we, we said we were going to do. I think I want to do the You've Got Mail with this interesting side. Okay, so we're going to take this. I'm going to put this on here. Ooh. See how ready when you just put it next to that beautiful background, you want to make sure that it's fun. Okay, so I'm going to add that. Now, if you are really, really getting into it, you might have textured these pieces. But again, that would have added um, um, thickness to your card, so you want to be careful. And by the time I add my little resins dots, you know it's going to definitely have thickness. Okay, we've got mail. I'm not going to lift it though. I'm just going to lay it flat because I don't want to have a situation that really is too overboard. As you can tell, I'm working on it, but I'm not quite there. Okay, so here we go with our card that turns. So this time we want to have, I think, um, I think I'm going to do, nope, that's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to put this little guy in, and I think I'm going to lift this one. I know I said I wasn't going to lift anything, but I am. I'm going to do this, because I think it looks cute. And I'm going to take this little guy. I'm not going to overdo it. Just one dimensional is all I need. And I'm going to put it right over the top here. And yep, I'm going to add that cute little um, package. Just a little bit of glue. Okay, let's put that on. I'm going to come back because I think it needs some cute little doodads. Okay. You got mail. You got that cute little one. Uh, I blew it. No, I'm going to keep it just the way I've got it. I'm going to turn it. I'm going to put this little guy here and I'm going to add the used nail bit. So just Get ready. Sometimes things just come together a little differently as we're putting it all together. There we go. Put this right here. No. I want to put my used nail bit before I do that. So let's, and we'll use the, the black ink. You know, this is kind of fun. It's like making a diorama, like when you were a kid and you had to make it for your book report. But this is even more fun. I might even be teaching this to my grandson just for kicks. Dioramas are his worst nightmare. He hates them. And so whenever they get assigned, he's always got another idea to the teacher. I have a great idea we could do. I'm sure they just hate to see him coming, but he's so dang cute. They go along with it. Okay, this one, remember, was just for the signature. And I told you we were gonna put a, a couple hearts. Oh, and we're going to just 
So all we have to do for this one is just add our name. Come on, old tape. There we go. And we'll add this one. And I'm going to put that little package too. Put it up there. A little glue. Okie dokie. I think we're good. I think we're nearly there. Okay, let's see where we can put some fun, some fun expressions of love. Because there's these cute little hearts everywhere. Okay. Let's start with the very first one. You've got mail, and you know I can never re not do this. I love this little heart right there. And then we're going to put a couple more like that. And like that. Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, page one. Let's go to page two. Same thing, we've got a little heart. Now, I think I'm going to do some white ones. There we go. So we got some more. Now, turn the page. <sighs> Myself. I want one. Just one. Right there. Hmm. No, I want two. <laughs> there we go. And last but not least. Okay, I think we have it. I think we've done it. Like cap everything. Okay, we have a continuous card. And I think it's absolutely darling. I cannot wait to send it. One more time, you've got mail. Cute little hearts, cute little peoples. You snailed it. And then you, we can sign off. I can always yet cut out one more if I want to and put it there. So there's room for even more fun things in this card. And, haha, -ha, it does fit in our uh, regular uh, envelope. This one's a little thicker than my last one because of my cute little hearts. But I think it's worth the stamp. So extra stamp, so I'm going to do that. Okay, don't forget, if you are playing uh, Summer Shenanigans, you want to let me know you were here today watching this video. So be sure and put a comment and say that you viewed um, the card and maybe tell me what, what kind of paper you're going to use to create yours because I'm anxious to hear what everybody's going to be doing. Um, I'm, I'm going to live and learn because I'm thinking about all my papers now and see which one fits this particular fold the best. This one is just fun, but I think it could be quite elegant too. Alrighty, I won't see you again until Tuesday at 4 o'clock. I'm looking forward to it, and uh, I think I'll fancy Nancy will be back to her old um, tricks on, on Tuesday. So looking forward to it, and until then, happy stampin'. See you, friends.